iPhone 10, so Japanese phone. Okay, serial number. You remember this? The CLL. We can see here the price. Hi, my name is Lim, and today we're going to sharing a toolbox. So this iBox Mini able to let us reprogram the iPhone serial number and this kind of data we can it can be reprogrammed without need to take out the motherboard and resoldering things like that no need at all so that's mean we can fix the shorter sound without all the hustle like my previous video we need to take out the the NAND and put into the NAND programming machine and to do that so this time we don't need to so thanks to the guys who invented this kind of tools <coughs> so today we will do the experiment on iPhone 10 I'll show you how to do it <coughs> okay so this is the iPhone 10 zoom in okay. so I will let you see everything first so a lot of people are asking actually I don't use you break at all even the previous because a lot of people they're asking is it you you break I try to do myself I cannot to do because you don't know how to do it different software different method okay so this time I will show you by using iBox mini how to do it with iBox mini <coughs> okay so no you break at all it's all empty and that is the latest version let me zoom in It is a uh, 13.5.1 iPhone 10, so Japanese phone. Okay, serial number. You remember this? JCLL. Yes. By the way, if you expect to reprogram the email, no, not possible. Because email is based on the baseband CPU. So if you expect you can reprogram that and you can bypass that battery, this is not possible. It's only possible for iPad because iPad, some of the iPad they only use serial number. They don't have email at all. So if the iPhone come with email, no. Even you change the email, the Apple server still not allow you to add with the the device. So don't expect you can do that. Okay. This tool is only to let us to reprogram the serial number to fix the hard disk to do some small stuff you know let's say unbind the Wi-Fi okay let's begin so just now I show you is 13.5.1 uh, iPhone 10 so serial number Japanese phone is a 64 gig so Wi-Fi address Bluetooth address please remember these three Wi-Fi address Bluetooth address and serial number because this machine whatever you change these three must be maintained if not if you didn't maintain so the server will be not allow you to activate the device okay so let's do it first we do the experiment by trying to shoot a photo okay So have sound is pretty normal. Okay, so let's turn on the silent mode. So even silent mode is on, it's still, it's still a shorter sound. So let's turn it live. So even silent mode is on, the live also have a still little sound from there. It's really annoying. So this is why everyone try to fix it. Okay, so this is not jailbreak method. Remember. So let's begin. <coughs> First thing I will introduce you this kind of tools. iBox. This is the iBox. It comes with this cable and this. First step. We have to open the iTunes. And then put the iPhone into DFU mode. Remember, DF, DFU mode and recovery mode is not same. DFU mode is one of the recovery mode that 
no display on the screen, but it still detects on the iTunes to ask you for restore. Okay, so I'll start to begin and the DFU. Each model DFU method is not sent. So iPhone 10 has their own method. iPhone 7 is not sent. iPhone 6 is not sent. Okay, so I will show you. So this iPhone 10 is up, down, and then power button until it turn off. So after off, hold the down button for 5 seconds, hold together and then release the power button. The iTunes will detect the iPhone. So here you say recovery mode, but actually this is what we call DFU mode, the screen is blank. Okay, so once we've done this step, and then unplug it. We will start to use this kind of tooth. We start to use this kind of tooth. Okay. Uh -huh. Close the iTunes. Turn on the iBox. So these two boxes come with the software. Connect to PC. Open port com 7 success. So once you see here success and then we continue to do it. Plug in. And close side here. So here we can see connect iPhone DFU mode. So if you see DFU mode, then you press this button. If you don't see it, don't press it. Okay, you are doing it wrong. So we do the DFU mode again. Click it. So in this process, actually the box is doing an exploit to fool the device to enter engineer mode. So in this mode, we can reprogram a lot of things. But not email, remember, it's not email, only serial number and Bluetooth address or something like that. So the screen will become purple mode. So in our community, we like to call it purple screen mode. So keep closing the iTunes. So you can block iTunes to prevent it to reopen again. <coughs> okay. So in here, you press this query all in four, and we can read the serial number we saw just now. Model code, Japanese phone, they a Bluetooth address and Wi-Fi address you must maintain. So whatever we change. So a lot of people that try to use JZ, WL, other kind of software, the old method we remove the none to reprogram it, they fail to do it. Even the change the country code because there's one key point different software different different process this is why now I tell you the key point what's the difference between my way my old way and this way I can use any software to do it just because you're missing a key point <coughs> okay so the key point is actually not only to change the country code we need to write the boot file write boot file mean write a generic file from other iPhone but make sure you select the correct model so from here this is iPhone 10 of course it's a correct model so just write put file and then he will write all the SN all the things again but by using the wrong information of the device you remove the shutter sound but the phone unable to edit it so that's why I tell you to keep and maintain the serial number go to address Wi-Fi address it's best you maintain most of the things and just change the country code. How do we maintain it? Just now I read all the info in here. We click one by one. So this time I just write back my serial number and model code, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and email address, MLB code, model code, battery code. This is back camera, phone camera, and motherboard code. And this one, you need to edit manually. 
let's say LL is the US and we are Malaysia so I use NY as long as you stay away to Korea and uh, Japan you can remove the shutter sound without a problem yeah. okay quick right so once done let's read it again so all information is like that and by Wi-Fi you don't need to press it unless you are fixing the Wi-Fi okay it's done so press exit recording mode and then remember first thing unplug this if you're still plugging this blue cable the phone will enter the recording mode after you after you done this step second key point is you need to restore the iPhone so this is why when we do this we tell customer to back up their own things or maybe we help him back up all the things first so after we restore the phone so it will work like like normal phone the shutter sound is fixed and we restore back the data on the phone so now turning on so it is normal that face id is not working this device face id is not working it's normal so by doing that it's not affect the face id don't worry okay not affect it doesn't have any side effect at all totally zero so let's see the setting about is still the same you see JA still the same but it not it will not be same after we restore the phone oh, okay this time we close it we need the iTunes to be open and then plug on here I try to do this video in one shot without many cutting so this I can prevent the idiot asking me the idiot question I can prevent those guys asking me the idiot question they say yeah it must be fake it must be it must be fake because they can't do it okay or some people they will say this is a jailbreak method this, this it cannot be trusted no actually they don't know how to do it The restore process will be quite long. It will be about 10 minutes, I believe. So, set up the new iPhone, get started. Okay, as we can see, all things maintained. We have to wait this to finish. Let's unplug it. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So stop. It's, it's about 10 minutes to restore. New slide to slide up. So as we can see, this after restore is totally empty, but we can see here surprise. It is MYA now. This is Malaysia official iPhone. All the information maintained. Let's try the camera. So now using normal mode. Okay. Have sound is normal. So turn on the silent mode now. Silent mode is on. See, the phone is completely silent. Let's try this. Even the live move is silent, so we turn it back on. So turn it back on. Turn it back off. So it's done. I just released the secret to you guys, so hopefully you guys can earn the money. Don't put your customer too expensive to do this. 
and remember I forgot to mention there's one point I forgot to mention before you do it before you do it it's best you click this first back up the system configuration this is back up the whole none data into the one file and put into a PC if you mess up something you still can reverse back to the original things so we just click this and select the file you back up and it will just reverse all the thing you've done before okay so that's it for sharing yeah hope you guys enjoy it bye